Really? Yeah. Oh, the choice of switching to Lucas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's... Oh. What? I'm sorry? Wait, what? A bunch oh, of this is... No, this is... This is serious. Alright, well... Alright, I will I guess... a stack. Goblin has a couple characters under his belt. Y'all y'all know him from, like, Roy only, but I have definitely seen him play a plethora of characters. Well, I think um, Full Bloom definitely made him feel more confident in this character after what Meister did, but um, Legacy is not letting him get any space. So, uh... Oh, wow, that's a lot better. So, yeah, so we see... I'm trying to grasp it. I'm just not used to the Goblin Game & Watch. Yeah, 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 that's fair. I play him pretty like I play Goblin a lot before he came out to Smackdowns and I've seen him play Pac-Man, Game & Watch, like a lot of characters. I'm a uh, I'm excited to see this matchup though cuz I'm pretty sure uh, Game & Watch wins. Uh simply because of how Game & Watch is right now, he's super good. Mm -hmm. The parasitic get to him maybe. Yeah. Parasitic actually dodged me today. All right, so killing him with a fair—that's actually pretty good. So I'm just—I'm just more dumbfounded than anything. Oh, no, dude, it's fine. This matchup seems freaking terrible for Lucas. If I'm keeping a stack with you. Yeah, because he could just hold bucket and he can't do anything off stage, on stage. Like he just moves around. He's super flat and fast. I definitely want to see like. I, I want Legacy to stop using like PK fire and, 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 and entirely in this matchup. He's got to going. He's got to use a lot more nair. A lot Not nair, nair, zair, A lot more nair, a lot more zair, a lot more like fairs. I mean, even bear if he's really crazy. No, definitely no bear. Yeah, <laughs> uh, well, if he's crazy. See, like a, a lot more physical attacks versus the PK fire, because that's gonna be a terrible time. But Legacy's definitely keeping this even right now. Um, He's just trying to get around all those things, up tilting that bomb. That bomb is really interesting because it's like part of Game and Watch, but at the same time, it's a projectile. Yeah, and it doesn't get like it gets destroyed really easily. I also want to see Legacy like stop using Down Smash on the ledge. Like that's not gonna do much. Wow, that is excellent, Dilia. Cool. Nice movement from Legacy on the platform. Yeah, the Down Smash actually you were talking about. It's good on ledge, but it gets predictable very quickly. Yeah. And it's super punishable. Legacy definitely needs to wow. be a little bit more careful with that. Back throw? Yeah, that'll kill. Nope. Wow. I... Good DI. I was just thinking light character, kill throw. Oh, F smash. Boom. That's gonna Wow. Kill. That move is incredible. The down smash? Oh, yeah. It's a it's free solid. other smash deck. And I definitely want to see Legacy continue playing his game plan before he got killed. Because if not, it's definitely going to be a downhill battle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, getting him on the uh, up B right there. He's got to watch his recovery because I think, uh, what's it called? Goblin's doing whatever he wants on the ledge right now. Because yeah. all he knows that all Legacy is going to do is stand at roll distance and get up distance and down smash. Down smash. Right, so he's definitely got to vary what he needs, vary his, um, what's it called, his coverage options on ledge. That way uh, he just isn't free to do whatever he wants. And I, I like the Legacy's game plan where he like hit him with one or two, I, one or two things and then like Goblin up beat. Right. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna wait and see what you do. But there's a down smash, get nothing out of it. These bombs are incredible for coverage. Like, Legacy can't do anything. He has to, have to attack the bomb or just run away. Like, he can't approach. But, oh, he can absorb it. Forgot about that. Yeah, but he has to absorb it, like, right on. Yeah, it has to explode, yeah. It's the same as, like, Link's bomb and young Link and Toon Link. See, I'm, like... You were 100% correct. Like, Legacy got the Zare, and it, it got him a little bit of mileage, which is really good. That Zare is super good. Even though it was nerfed a little bit in distance, it still goes onto all of his combos. But he seems to be approaching a lot more with Fair, which doesn't necessarily isn't the best option. Yeah, Fair's a little bit shorter. I feel like Zare will give him a little bit more mileage out of it. Plus, it's a disjoint. Oh, wow. Just... Yikes. Hard committed. Hard committed. Mm. It was Zare... F tilt, down tilt, and then he got up smashed. Yeah, so I I was not expecting the uh, game and watch, yeah. but uh, wow. He has a game and watch. Yeah, I I guess he does. <laughs> yeah. I'd be surprised how many characters Goblin has. All right, well now he's going back to Roy. 
But him actually staying in with Lucas, I think he was going to go Isabel if he went Game & Watch again, which... Eh. Eh. <laughs> it's Isabel. It's yeah. Isabel. So, oh my god, I don't know what stages he banned, but I disagree with this stage pick 110%. Oh yeah, totally. Like, this is such a good stage for Roy. <laughs> Yeah, this is not necessarily where Legacy should have gone. My guess he banned something like Yoshi's Brawl or something like that. Because that would have been a really good stage. But here, here he can definitely start zoning out a little bit more. Which is great. Oh my god, that almost... That would have been disturbing. Oh, that side B, man. That thing kills Ooh. DDD at like 60. Goblin with some slick movement. Yeah, I mean, Gob Legacy's still holding his own, though. I mean, it's an even game for right now. See, I want Legacy to start punishing when Goblin doesn't have a jump, especially as Roy, because really he can't do much, and all he has to do is shark him, stay under him, and then consistently like apply pressure. That up B is going to be very dangerous, because if it hits him low enough, uh, he will die even with his jump. Yeah, I agree, GDX. Double Edge Dance is ridiculous. Alright, so... Car so, uh, Goblin getting the first kill on there. Still has a lot of percent on him. He's got to make some moves. Oh. Wow. Oh. Did he, he got he got windboxed by the downbeat. Yeah, that allowed him to extend that, the, the, that the, was, the combo. That was really good. That would have been raw if he got the, the up B kill. I mean, it's still fine because he did get a lot of damage on him, which definitely does put him in a thing. But yeah, that would have been... That would have changed the entire set. Yeah, that would have been it. I I don't know, like, I know Lucas doesn't have combo throws anymore, and I don't know if down throw is, like, the best option. Down throw is a good option early percents, because you can combo it into forward air or up air. That's pretty much it. Okay. And I think it does a decent amount of damage. Definitely needs to watch out about trading with Goblin Man, because if he does... <gasps> that was a jab lock! That was a jab lock! <laughs> oh, he missed it up! That reverse down B's air is super good, by the way. It's pretty much a free recovery. And Legacy doing really good. Yeah, I mean, the switch to Lucas definitely was beneficial for him because he played Lucas for however many months in Smash 4. So it's... He didn't really move to that forward of a character, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why he keeps down throwing instead of like back throwing. It could be a habitual thing. Like a lot of people that just like got comfortable with their characters in Smash Ultimate that had the same character in Smash 4 still have like a lot of habits with them. Like I I still use like Mega Man really like I don't know, not as comfortably as I want to. Cuz he doesn't he plays completely different in certain aspects anyways. That was an interesting option. I think it was supposed to be upbeat. All right. Nice back throw. So Legacy's now got an uphill battle right now. Oh, never mind. Jab. That's back a backhill battle. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, Goblin taking that 2-0. That was definitely interesting to see his game and watch. Yeah. And to, and to see how Legacy reacted to both of those characters. He did really good against the game and watch. 